What is your biggest fear? How much energy does it cost you to repeat certain fear patterns? What do these patterns bring or take from you? So write it down. What is your biggest fear? And what do these patterns bring or take from you? And how much energy does it cost you to repeat certain fear patterns? Is it comfortable? To just keep lingering in these fear patterns? Or are you used to the discomfort? And did that become your comfort zone? These are just a few questions. But they're very important because they're essential. I can't fix you. I can only remind you what it is that's going on because you might have this blind spot and this blind spot is keeping you from living your life freely but it can the blind spot can keep you suffering alive also because you keep feeding this blind spot you keep feeding the comfortable and comfortable in this sense, comfortable patterns that are of no use for you. They don't uh, inspire you, they don't nurture you. They just are a comfortable way of living. And that's a certain quality of life. But it's not really quality of life. It's just being scared to fully live and to Confront yourself with challenging life matters, things that are needed, things that have to be done. And also to take care of your body, to take care of your mental health, all this whole combination, this whole dynamic. And it's not about being conscious, it's about what you do with the consciousness, how you practice this awareness in your life. And the projections of living life comfortably are keeping, are keeping you from living your life freely. Because the projection is that you think that you live comfortably. And to others it also may appear that you live comfortably. But when you're truly honest with yourself, when you truly connect with what's really going on, then there's this underlying sadness, despair, anxiety that is isolating you from this moment, from your own presence. And that's why you disappear in information, in distraction, in flirting with with life but not taking yourself seriously it's really okay to flirt with life there's no, there's no problem with gaining new information or even new knowledge but it, it is the value you give it to when you start to take yourself really seriously you start to distinguish what is feeding you and what is costing you energy and you can help yourself by practicing simple exercises like body awareness a body scan mindfulness doing physical things during one day repeating these physical things and very basic basic things like housekeeping things regular hours or moments where you take breaks, where you take a meal, where you have a drink. It's all that, that simplicity, that's the fulfillment. 
you're searching for. And adapting yourself is a great ability, but not when you feel it's not nourishing and maltreating yourself. So when you adapt yourself out of fear, out of fear-based living, know that it's, it's a survival system. It's a survival system that is mainly focused on not drowning. But you can swim. You can swim and you can discover by swimming new things, new experiences. But then you have to start to feel this connection with yourself. To feel gentle with yourself. That it's okay that you're scared. That it's okay that you don't know the solution to your questions. The solution to the problems in your life. That it, it's okay that you don't know this. Start to be gentle with yourself. Start to allow your sweetness. And take small steps every day again. And be grateful for that you can take these steps. That you are able to explore this. That you know it all. You know everything. Everything is inside of you. You just need a little reminder. All of life is open. But when you close. Life is saying I'm closed. And it, it can't get through. It can't get through because this, there's this contracted energy. So let go. Let go of this contraction. Let go of the fear. Because you are safe wherever you are. You are always safe. Not only in your comfort zone. That's the illusion.